This is your Seymour Johnson Weekly Update. I'm Staff Sergeant Peter Ising. Seymour Johnson Recreation Area, or Fort Fisher as you might know it, recently hosted a historical education event in remembrance of one of the most influential wars America has ever seen. Airman First Class Samantha Konechny has more. We've heard the saying, those who fail to learn from history's mistakes are doomed to repeat them. So it's a good thing the Battle of Fort Fisher happened. We always learn from our past mistakes. Fort Fisher is an excellent example because the Union attack plan was a complete mess here. And what we do is we have these facilities that relate these stories so we can learn how they made mistakes in the past. And then from them, you can always you learn how not to make the same mistakes. War reenactments are the perfect mixture of entertainment and education. Whether you're a history buff or not, this show will keep you on your toes. I can't think of anything. It's if you have an interest. <laughs> and if you're looking to partake in this historical entertainment. If folks have an interest, there's always something like this going on somewhere within a reasonable drive. May not be Civil War, might be a different time period. If you have an interest in history, what's stopping you? Come on out. Folks, uh, folks like us, we're, we're happy to have as many folks as we can coming and learning more. Airman First Class Samantha Konechny, Seymour Johnson Air Force Base, North Carolina. For more information, just type Fort Fisher into your favorite search engine. Airmen in the group Thompson Blue are the stars of the Air Force, and Senior Airman Tory Fleck found one such star with roots at Seymour Johnson Air Force Base. I'm an aircraft mechanic. I'm a mechanic on fighter jets. Very surreal feeling being back here. I saw a couple of guys in my unit throughout the show, so that was really cool, but very, very weird, surreal feeling. Bought my first drum set at 10 years old. Touring around playing drums has always been a dream of mine. Um, when I listed in December of 09, kind of given up on the playing thing. And right after I sent in my audition tape, it, it just kind of reignited that fire and that passion that I have for playing. I'd never want to stop playing again. Have I, had I not enlisted, music would not be such a large part of my life that it is now. It's one thing to be performing for me, and like it makes me smile, but what makes it really count is going to places like Bagram, Afghanistan on Christmas Day. I enjoy bringing a smile to people's faces more than I enjoy actually playing in and of itself, I guess. So the, the high I get, the natural high I get off of entertaining the crowd, the crowd's reaction is what really keeps me going. The show normally lasts about an hour and a half and I'm playing constantly the whole show, the old put on the big smile and entertainment and all that, in addition to playing constantly. It's, uh, it's quite a workout. Can't be too tired after the show though because we get another three and a half, four hours of packing stuff up, loading it onto a truck. So our evening won't be done until probably about 2 a.m. Coming back to see more Johnson after the tour is done, I'm definitely going to be, uh, I feel like I'm going to be five times, ten times the airman I was when I left. Uh, my work ethic has increased dramatically. Uh, I have a newfound sense of motivation and time management. Um, I feel like I can be work twice as hard, five times as hard, infinitely as hard as I did before I left. So. For tour dates, go to ThompsonBlue.com. That's ThompsonBlue.com. If you're looking to open your home and your heart to a new family member of the canine persuasion, come to the Diamonds in the Rough adoption event this Saturday, February 11th. You can even bring your current pet and the whole family for giveaways, face painting, and more. It's at Cuts for Mutts on Royal Avenue at 9 a.m. And don't forget to check out the latest article from Airman First Class Mariah Tolbert on SeymourJohnson.af.mil. She tells about a flag on Seymour Johnson that is not only a decoration, but an important piece of 4th Fighter Wing history. That's your Seymour Johnson Weekly Update. I'm Staff Sergeant Peter Ising, and thanks for watching.